In this video, I want to talk about one of the exciting new plugins for Modic, the Citrix-based family of apps, GoToAssist, GoToMeeting, GoToTraining, and GoToWebinar. By enabling these plugins, you'll be able to use Modic Forms for signups, as well as create segments based on meeting attendance. I'm going to go ahead and enable the GoToMeeting plugin, but this example applies for all of them and authorize the app. Now you need to be logged into your Citrix account to do this. Before we go on, if I head over to gotomeeting.com and log in, well, I'll be all set. But if you don't have one, you can get a 30-day trial. I'm going to click on plans and pricing. Enter your email address and set this up. The 30-day trial gives you pretty much unlimited everything, and it's really, really slick. Of course, if you have a GoToMeeting account, you don't need to go through this step at all. You'll need to enter a string that makes sense to you for the URL of GoToMeeting. Click Next. Hey, it's all mine. A couple of things. I just need to update the time zone. Not a problem. But now when I go back to manage the plugins, when I click Authorize App, it's going to ask me to authorize GoToMeeting for the Modic Cloud. I'm going to click Allow, and my app is now authorized. All right, so let's talk about how these plugins actually work. I've enabled GoToMeeting and GoToWebinar, two of the more popular ones. I'm going to set up forms, segments, and campaigns for both of them so you see how they work because they do work just a little bit differently as you use them. Let's start with GoToMeeting. So the first thing I need to do, of course, is to schedule a meeting. And I've already done that. I have a meeting coming up at 1 o'clock on December the 5th. Modic will now recognize that meeting and allow me to add participants for it. Head back over to Modic, and I'm going to go to Forms. And I'm going to create a registration form for my GoToMeeting. Click New. I'm going to use a standalone form. On the fields, I'm going to add a field. So I've added a first name and last name text fields. I'm going to click Add a field again, and this time select Go to Meeting Upcoming Meetings. And I'm going to say Select the Meeting. I don't need to save this field. Uh, I can if I want. If I want to set up a custom field for this, I could. But I will require it. And this is going to give me a drop down of all of my upcoming meetings because I have set up the plugin. Of course, I need an email field. The only other thing I need to do, of course, is to create an action to send them to a segment. You've probably done this before. Add a submit action and modify a contact segments, pushing them to the onboarding segment or whatever one you want. So I have add to onboarding here. All right, so we're set. First name, last name, email, and select the meeting. I'm going to change this to the onboarding category, and I'm going to click Save and Close. So I've set up my form. The next thing I can do is set up an email. Click on Emails, and I'm going to choose a new template email. And I'm just going to use Neapolitan. Click on Builder, and Rod's Meeting. And we'll get rid of that button because we're going to use a token to put the link to start the meeting right in the email. Let's insert token, type a G, and say go to meeting start button. Close the builder, give it a subject, launch your meeting. Put it in the onboarding category, and then we'll save and close. So I have my form to sign up and the email that will go out with the link to start the meeting. And now, of course, I just need to set up the campaign. So I'm going to click on Campaigns, click New, and Meeting Campaign. And I can send a link via an action. Go to meeting action or go to webinar action are both here. Click go to meeting action. Send link. 
the action is start go to meeting. I can choose the meeting that Modic has identified for me, and I can choose the template that I created. I can send that immediately, or I can send it a couple of hours before the webinar. If I send it immediately, it'll at least let us see the results. Click Close Builder, Save and Close. And so here's the form on my fake demo site. First name, last name, email, and select the meeting. You'll see December update there. I went ahead and filled that form out, and here's the email I got. And there's the meeting link right in the email. Clicking on that would take me to my GoToMeeting. Webinars work a little differently because you can register for them, and the plugin will immediately send those registrations straight over to Citrix so you have attendance lists and more, and then bring them back into Modic, creating segments, whether they attended the webinar or not. It's pretty amazing. So in my form fields, I added a field called Go to Webinar Upcoming Webinars. And here it is below, and it will list all of the upcoming webinars. The last step for a webinar that you need to do is to send that information back to Citrix. And in this case, you need to add a submit action. It's important when you're creating these kinds of forms that they be standalone forms so you can perform the actions. So I added an action called register to go to webinar. And on that action, I give it a name. I selected the webinar that they're signing up for. The first name field, the last name field, and their email field, which all need to be required. And I'll click update. And now when I fill in that form, immediately at GoToWebinar, the new registration is logged. From there, you can send the person to a segment, initiate a campaign, send reminders about the webinar, and even send the link just before the webinar. So the new Citrix plugin for Modic, a fantastic way to use webinars, go to meetings, go to training, and more with Modic.